Well, the shoulder joint, as uh, the uh, uh, the old uh, anatomists uh, dis describe, is a part that uh, relies the trunk to the upper limb. So the shoulder joint is the basis of uh, the arm. Is a part that uh, is uh, very complex, that uh, ensures strength, orientation, mobility, and stability for the upper limb. The simple fact of uh, taking a coin on the shelf or taking a glass of water on the table involves so many different joints and uh, muscles work and the basis of that is the shoulder joint because the shoulder joint connects to the uh, columnar to the spine and also to the thorax so it's because of the shoulder joint that we are able to hold because of the shoulder joint that we are able to walk on our hands if we want to do bodybuilding to work doing strenuous activities it's very interesting joint with a huge mobility and lots of strength Well, shoulder instability is that when this joint that is uh, actually more complex, it's uh, created by several joints. The biggest one is the glenohumeral joint, the, sh the uh, uh, articulation between the humeral bone and the scapula. So this uh, is supposed to be stable. That means whatever you do, the shoulder stays in place. In some conditions, uh, the shoulder can go out of the joint. The shoulder can go out of the joint or it can go a little bit out of the joint or it can go uh, uh, towards out of the joint but it's held by the muscle. So there are different types of instabilities. The shoulder can become unstable or can dislocate even in some dramatic conditions. And uh, this is a challenge for us because when a shoulder becomes unstable, the patient should see a doctor. Well, there are many causes that uh, can uh, do shoulder instability. The first one is uh, the anatomy. Uh, lots of uh, people were not uh, familiar with the fact that uh, the shoulder um, blade have this part called the glenoid that is supporting the humeral head. And this surface is kind of flat. So in order to hold the humeral head in the joint, uh, the um, uh, the ligaments should keep this uh, in position. Hard sometimes the anatomy of uh, the shoulder joint is disrupted. I mean, even sometimes the glenoid is too flat. Sometimes the ligaments are too uh, elastic, like we see in young uh, uh, sports people who uh, are really unstable or contortionist with lots of elastic elastic tissues but the vast majority of shoulder instabilities are traumatic dislocation. So it's a normal joint that goes out because something is broken. Well, shoulder instability is treated now a very sophisticated uh, approach because we have to learn uh, what causes the instability to understand exactly the anatomy and tr to repair the best possible way to have the same anatomy as before the shoulder become unstable. So uh, the uh, methods we use are very different and uh, depending on the type of instability, is it anterior, is it posterior, uh, the, uh, the, of the uh, type of instability, is it traumatic, is it subluxation, is it only apprehension, on the uh, structures that are involved, is it bone, is it cartilage, are the, this is only the capsule, the ligaments, the labrum. I mean, all these structures have, have to be assessed and addressed for treatment. Well, usually uh, in a sports person, a very active uh, person, uh, uh, we fix dislocation and instability after a traumatic episode of dislocation, like if it's a football player or a rugby player. Uh, if it's a normal person, like a, with a, a kind of a more uh, activity uh, uh, that does not involve uh, violent uh, actions, uh, we assess what's happening, uh, we try to do the best 
in order to ensure that uh, this uh, situation do, do not reoccur. And if the second episode reoccur, uh, we fix it at the second episode. But um, uh, however, in the real life, people come to see us after many episodes of this location. So they got dislocated many times. Very few people uh, have access to a quality of uh, healthcare like Aspeta or other big shoulder services uh, on this planet who can uh, assess and fix immediately in sports people uh, shoulder instability. Basically, if we uh, shoulder surgery is easy for the patient. So uh, the patient uh, have to come in the morning, we fix the instability and he goes home. So uh, then he will have a program to do some movements to avoid and some ranges of motion to respect. So uh, depending on the type of repair we, we uh, do, uh, we give them appropriate programs and uh, we keep contact with the physical therapy specialist to make a surveillance of that. Depending on the demand of the patient, if it's a wrestler or it's a rugby player, uh, the amount of uh, rehab before going back on field is different. It's not the same as in a, a marathonian uh, person or a person who's doing uh, cycling. So a very different, uh, but to be uh, clear, uh, six weeks uh, rehab uh, or uh, convalescence after repair, three months before going back to sports and six months before going to contact sports.